Boxing News, Anthony Joshua on Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder backed for Ajko, Amir Khan plan. Anthony Joshua believes Tyson Fury's efforts to steal a victory in their heavyweight showdown could make him a distinctly tricky opponent. Since Joshua beat Vladimir Klitschko to become a two-belt heavyweight world champion, the division's best have been queuing up to fight him. That is including Tyson Fury who beat Klitschko two years ago to become world champion but vacated the belts citing problems with depression and cocaine use. However, he is back in training and has repeatedly called Joshua's 20-0 record into question. And the current champion admits Fury could pose him a number of problems. I just think he's awkward in the mind and he's awkward in his style. Unpredictable. You just don't know, Joshua said. He doesn't have one significant style. He may move around the ring and try and steal the win, he may just jab the whole fight. Deontay Wilder could inflict Anthony Joshua's first ever professional defeat in a unification fight, according to boxing expert Al Bernstein. Wilder is 39 fights unbeaten in the pay ranks with 38 knockouts and has been repeatedly touted as the man with the power to stop Joshua. And now Bernstein has suggested that if Wilder can fire big punches early in a potential clash between the two, he could end the Brit's unbeaten run. I will say that the way that this is going for both fighters, it starts to feel like it's whoever gets to who first, Bernstein told on the ropes boxing radio. Although, we've seen Anthony Joshua in trouble and come back from it, we haven't seen Wilder in that kind of difficulty come back I think Wilder's best chance in that fight is to get him out in the first three or four rounds. I believe if the fight goes on, Joshua's strength could be an impact, but we'll see. Joshua is probably technically a better fighter than Wilder. Wilder is quicker, has better movement, is more difficult to figure out because he's so unorthodox and unconventional sometimes. Amir Khan is planning to fight three times in 2018 but will not move up to face Billy Joe Saunders. Khan has not fought since he was knocked out by Canelo Alvarez in May 2016 and was most recently seen in the jungle as part of reality TV show I May Celebrity and Get Me Out of Here. But the 31 year old has promised to get back to boxing in 2018 with three fight dates sketched out. March, July and December, said Khan. But despite a challenge from WBO middleweight champion Saunders, Khan has refused to step up to the 160 pounds limit, as he did for Alvarez, to face the unbeaten Brit. I'm sticking to 147 pounds, Khan added.